In this video, I'm going to show you how to add event and ticketing functionality to your WordPress website in only six minutes. First, we're going to install WooCommerce, which is a popular e-commerce system built for WordPress. Next, we'll install Foo Events, which will add the necessary ticketing functionality to WooCommerce. We're going to log into the WordPress dashboard and install our first plugin. WooCommerce is a free plugin and is available directly from WordPress, which means you can install it from within your WordPress dashboard. Simply go to Plugins, Add New, and search for WooCommerce. Once you've found it, click the Install Now button. Wait for it to install, and then click the Activate button. Next up, we're going to set up WooCommerce for our website. WooCommerce have a great setup wizard which makes it super easy. Start off by entering your store details. For this demo, I'm going to enter generic information, but in your case, this would be your location and currency. You can sell both physical and digital products with Foo Events, but for this demo, we're going to select digital only. Once all of the information has been completed, click the Let's Go button and proceed to the next step. WooCommerce supports hundreds of payment gateways. For this demo, we'll use PayPal and proceed to the next step. On a live site, we'd most definitely use MailChimp, but it's not needed for this demo, so let's skip ahead. We'll also skip the optional Jetpack installation, which means we're done setting up WooCommerce. We're now going to install Foo Events, which will provide the functionality needed to sell tickets from your website. I already have a copy of the Foo Events plugin on my desktop, but you can purchase a copy from www.fooevents.com. All we'll need to do is install the Foo Events plugin and set up our first event. Head over to Plugins, click Add New and upload the Foo Events plugin. Choose the plugin file and hit the Install Now button to begin uploading. Once done, click the Activate button to complete installation. We are then also going to install the Foo Events Custom Attendee Fields plugin, which will make it possible to capture additional information about our attendees when they purchase a ticket. Simply upload, install and activate the plugin. Lastly, we're going to install the Foo Events PDF Ticket plugin, which will add the PDF version of the ticket to the ticket emails. It'll also make it possible for attendees to download a copy of the PDF ticket from your website's My Account page. Follow the same process as before and upload, install, and activate the Foo Events PDF Tickets plugin. Now that all the plugins are installed, we'll need to complete a few basic setup options. Head over to the Foo Events settings page and enter your Foo Events API key, which can be located under the My Account section on the Foo Events website. Then enter a Google Maps API key to ensure that the venue map displays correctly on your event page. While on the settings page, we can change the default Add to Cart text to rather say Book Ticket. We can also set PDFs to include as attachments on tickets, make them downloadable from the My Account page, and set the site to include both PDF and HTML versions of the tickets in the ticket email. Once these options are saved, it is time to create your first event. Go to Products in the main menu and click Add New. Foo Events essentially converts a standard WooCommerce product into an event. This means you can take advantage of built-in WooCommerce functionality, as well as extend it using hundreds of amazing plugins. First, we're going to enter the event's title and overview. Then we're going to head over to the Options tab, where we'll set the event as a virtual product. Each ticket will sell for $9.99, and we'll have 200 tickets available. We are then going to add a custom attendee field called T-Shirt Size, and allow the attendees to choose the size from the drop-down list. Our options will include small, medium, large, and extra large. We'll then head to the events tab where we'll activate the event functionality and enter the events details. 
These details are essentially the information a customer would need for the event and include when the event is planned, where the event will take place, as well as the relevant organizer contact details. You can then set the logo, which should display on the HTML and PDF tickets, as well as any extra information you'd like to include. If there is any other event information you'd like to include prior to the event, you can add it to the purchase thank you page. We are now going to customize the colors of the HTML tickets and set the border and button colors. Finally, we move on to the various settings that allow us to define how the ticket should behave. For this demo, we'd like to display the price on the ticket, capture individual attendee details, display the shirt size on the ticket, and email the attendee rather than the purchaser, as they might be different people. Lastly, we're going to set the featured image to display on our event page, and create an event category that will help us keep our products and events better organized. Finally hit that publish button and we are done. We have created our first event and are ready to start selling tickets. To recap, we set up an e-commerce system, implemented event and ticketing functionality and created our first event. Let's head over to the event page and purchase a ticket for this event. The event page displays all information entered using the WooCommerce product templates. The map is displayed below the description and the event details are displayed in the event details tab. To buy a ticket, Simply hit the book ticket button and proceed to view cart. Then proceed to the checkout and enter your billing details. Foo Events uses standard WooCommerce checkout functionality and billing fields. This means you can customize these as needed based on your requirements using various WooCommerce settings and third party plugins. For example, you can add functionality to skip the car page and remove any unnecessary fields. Once you have completed the billing details, enter the attendees information and specify shirt size using the custom field that we created. You are now ready to purchase the ticket, so hit the payment button and head over to the payment gateway. You'll recall we used PayPal for this demo, but bear in mind WooCommerce supports hundreds of different payment gateways. When a payment is received, the customer order is marked as complete, which triggers the ticket to be sent. You'll be directed to the payment confirmation page, which means your ticket will arrive shortly. Let's head over to my email, where we'll see the ticket has arrived. The email includes the HTML version of our ticket that displays our logo and color scheme. Also includes a PDF version as a file attachment. The PDF version can be viewed using any standard PDF viewer. The barcode on both the HTML and PDF version can then be used to check in attendees at the event using the free Foo Events iOS and Android check-in apps or the Foo Events Express check-in plugin. This plugin works wonderfully with a USB 2D barcode scanner. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or you'd like to find out more, head over to fooevents.com and we'll help you start selling tickets like a pro.